Hey, how's it going, Peter? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, and thanks for reaching out to uh, my business and requesting a site analysis. Um, what I'm going to be doing for you is going over where your business is online, how much clicks do you get to your website versus your competitors. competitors. I'm going to reverse engineer your top competitor in San Diego, show you exactly what they're doing, and show you exactly what it's going to take for um, you to be the dominating uh, company in San Diego when someone's looking for a landscaper. All right, so everything that we're going to be talking about is generally uh, search engine optimization. All right, we're going to be optimizing your website for Google searches. All right, so as you can see, we're on my webpage right now. My company's Amp Local. We're an internet marketing agency here in San Diego. So please visit for more information. Um, so let me just jump right into video. So um, over well, as you may already know, over 90% of the population, uh, when they need a product or service, they're going to use Google. It's the most powerful, popular way to extract information from the internet, right? Um, and 96% of them are going to click from the very first page, all right? So um, getting you at the top of these searches is going to be incredible for your business, all right? So you may already know this is your map listings here, right? And this is your organic listing. So the map listing shows the one person searching all the local businesses. So if you're a brick and mortar or even if you service a specific area, um, you want to be listed here in the maps, okay? Because 30 to 35 percent of people are going to click here on the as number one and number one is going to click from the organic. So let me show you what that looks like. This shows you the statistics from 2015. The number one ranked person got about 35 percent of all the business while number two got about 17 percent. Um, and as you can see, you know, the last page on page one is 10, and then it goes to 11, which is on page two, which is barely 1%. So we got to get, you got to be on the first page of Google. Um, so if you're ranked number one here and ranked number one here, you know, if you're showing up on Google as a local business and then ranked organically number one, you know, do the math times 235, that's potentially cornering up, up, up to 70% of the consumers. Um, for each keyword, so let me talk to you about keywords. So to find you, um, you know, someone would be typing in landscaping San Diego or a landscaper San Diego or, you know, landscaping company, landscaping specialist. There's so many different ways. Um, so here are all of the keywords people are using here in San Diego, all right? So landscaping gets searched alone 590 times per month. Um, some other ones, landscape, uh, landscape design, okay, all these are getting searched multiple times, many times per month. Um, uh, so landscape architect, 90 times per month. So as you can see, there's, there's actually like 800 words people are using. Um, and overall, every month, someone wants to search, they're looking for landscaping or landscaping services, you know, 15, uh, 12 to 15,000 times per month here in San Diego. So huge market for your services, um, huge opportunity to get you at the top of these searches um, with all this amount of business that is just out there, right? And this is where it's coming from. It's, it's on Google. So um, I want to show you where you're at versus your top competitors. So the number one guy for this keyword that gets searched 590 times per month, just this one keyword, is uh, um, Le Perve Landscape, all right? So this is him ranked number one right here. And he's not even on the uh, the maps. So one quick thing, what I like to see is when I'm prospecting um, and doing these analysis, I like to look at the maps. So the number one ranked person that's organically ranked, he's not even in the top three of the maps. So that tells me something. And then this guy that's Equonius Landscaping, he's not. he doesn't even have a website. See how these guys have websites? This guy don't. So this tells me that this is low hanging fruit, all right? So you're in a very good place with your niche market and the landscapers um, in San Diego, all right? So right now, as you may already know, you, you know, you reached out to me, obviously you would like more business for uh, more clicks and more leads for your business, right? Um, so right now you have pretty much zero traffic coming in from these uh, SEO searches, okay? Um, now LaPerve, on the other hand, He's got, you know, about 100 and new, 190 visitors per month, new visitors a month. 
Um, so that's huge. Okay, this is the potential market we're talking about. And that's just, you know, on a few keywords. Um, there's, like I said, there's up to 800. And usually the most profitable keywords are around 10 to 20 keywords. And that's usually the ones we focus on. But there's, there's tons of keywords. All right. So as you can see, you know, most of his business is coming from landscape in San Diego. So many keywords, but that's the potential that you could have for your business. So how do we get you there? All right. So Google has an algorithm. It has over 200 determining factors. All right. Uh, I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'm just going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones. We nail these. Everything else kind of falls into place. Um, the first thing is your, let's talk about your physical website. So 60, 60 to 80 percent of people, when they need a product or service, they're going to use their iPhone or Android. So you got to look good on a, on a mobile device. Um, so for your website, you are mobile friendly. So that's very good. So I just wanted to hit that. It's very important. It's one of the four key elements. But we'll move on from there. Next, I want to talk to you about authoritative content. So what Google wants to know is that you are you educating these consumers? You know, whenever someone's looking for a landscaper or a landscaping company or, or what have you, Google's going to look at all the home pages of the websites and see who provides the most information. So if you're mentioning landscaping, landscaping and design, um, custom landscape, local landscaper in San Diego, all these keywords on the home page, um, Google's going to take you more seriously and be like, okay, this guy's locally owned in San Diego and he provides all these services and he's using all these latent keywords. So not just landscaping. Are you talking about um, maybe the different types of shrubbery or, or, um, or plants or, or palm trees, you know, things of that nature also is very important. And you want to have, this is the most important thing. You want to have at least 1000 to 2000 words on the home page. So for you, you have, I mean, you know, just this one short statement about yourself and then some of your bold outlines for the company here. So really no content. Um, so the first thing that we're going to have to do is definitely uh, write you out some unique authoritative content, mentioning um, many of the keywords that we talked about here. All right. So this is this is a huge part of the the whole process is the authoritative content so just to give you an idea what that looks like I went to Google typed in elephant look what's number one Wikipedia um, so Wikipedia is notorious for these searches because of their authoritative content look at all the information about elephants here endless endless amounts of information about the elephant their evolution habitat what they eat where they sleep all that good stuff right this is probably 50,000 words like I mentioned earlier, um, 1,000 to 2,000 for your niche and for what you're trying to do and what we're trying to do for your SEO, 1,000, 2,000 is going to be perfect. All right, next, I want to talk to you about business listings. So we also call these local citations. So some examples are Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yellow Pages, and White Pages. All right, these are very, very important. This is how we get our business name out there. Um, when we do them, we have to have the business name, address, and phone number identical. If not, Google's going to penalize us. So right now, you have a 93% error rate. So right now, um, it looks like looks like you have a Yelp. And you know what? You may have a Facebook. You know, you may have MapQuest or what have you. But the thing is, um, Google wants to know, do you have the business name, address, and phone number listed? Because if you don't, it's not going to recognize it and it's not going to take you serious in the searches so it looks like you may have a Yelp here um, and then you have it looks like there's other companies listed with the same phone number um, and I'll, I'll pull this information straight from your website right here and used your mailing address okay so this is what's gonna have to happen um, we have to get you Google verified alright so whenever these maps this is these uh, citations is directly responsible for getting you ranked on maps. So we have to get you Google, Google verified to sh um, to tell Google, hey, uh, you're a landscaping company here in San Diego. All right, and what's going to happen is, and you're going to provide the name of your company. Well, I'll be doing this for you. We're going to give the name, um, address, and phone number of your company. Um, you don't have to have a brick and mortar, so we're going to say that you provide services at the customer's location. So there won't be a a location for the service to uh, customer to come to all right so you have to, we have to get you uh, listed here and it's gonna be fairly easy to rank you here I mean these guys don't even have reviews this guy's got one review um, so once we do that we'll have your website connected um, and then you'll be Google verified 
and then we'll be able to um, go in and lit, fill in all of these citations. So this is the top 50 in the country. We want to get you listed in all these that you're missing listings in. Um, get this corrected, you know, get this guy, you know, whoever's in here, we have to go in here and put your information so Google will pick up your name and address in here as well. So there's there's also thousands of these. Over time, you know, as we become partners over time, um, we're going to get you listed in hundreds of these um, every month. So you'll be, you know, you're really low-hanging fruit, I have to say. I don't really say this too often in my videos, but, um, you know, this, this niche you're in and just looking at these competitors here and how this guy's not even in the maps it's very low hanging fruit so um, I'm actually pretty excited about it but um, I know that you know we would dominate this fairly quickly um, so I just want you to know that we do have great confidence in this just by looking at that but let me not get off topic so um, yeah so the listings 93% error we're gonna get these fixed up for you get you listed in hundreds over time get you in the top 50 and get your Google verified so you're on the maps and then you'll be able to corner 35% of the market just from the maps. All right, fourth um, thing I want to talk to you about. So, all right, so say you have a client that's thoroughly impressed with your service. You know, you did the landscape and they're, they're thoroughly happy, which I'm sure happens all the time. I'm sure you give a phenomenal service. Um, but what's going to happen is maybe this business owner or company or, you know, homeowner has a website or writes blogs or, or anything like that, articles on the internet, what's going to happen is they're going to mention you on the internet, all right? So what's going to happen is Google is a huge popularity contest. So it's really um, a, like running for president. You know, the more votes you have, uh, the more chances you're going to run for president. So these articles are your votes, okay? So the referring domains, all right, this is saying that there's one website out there that's mentioned you one time, okay? So maybe someone you in the past you've done business with you know maybe wrote an article and put a link to your website on their website so now you have that that vote okay so there's one influence page pointed to your site and the trust flow is the quality so Google wants to know how many websites are mentioning this company online and what are the quality of those sites so that's the trust flow all right, so right now you have one website mentioning it once and the trust flow is zero. So as you can see, there's not much going on. Let me use your top competitor. Here, let me go snag his website off of here. I'm going to use your top competitor um, to show you what's going on. So they're going to have a little bit more numbers to work with. All right, so here we go. 59 there they have 59 websites mentioning them 236 times. Now this could be blog postings and social media. And the trust flow is 10. Okay, I really like what I'm seeing. Let me show you why. Um, so at 10, they're not even medium high, medium high qual, uh, medium quality. Okay, high quality is 20 and 25 over. So what's the good thing? The good thing about our company is we're going to link you. We have unlimited links uh, to link your business to um, that are very high quality. They're all 20, 25, and even 30 plus. They're actually off the charts. All right, so, and over time we're going to get you, you know, 60 over, actually over 100. Um, usually we do about four per month. Um, but if we have you, you know, f between eight, five to ten super strong links, you'll be able to outrank this guy very easily. I'm going to show you um, a site that we built for one of our clients. We have a solar panel client here in San Diego. Actually, he's, and in L.A., he's got six offices, but this is the site for a San Diego office. Um... Let's see, let me go back here. So let me show you how high quality this site is. Look at the difference, 33. All right, so we've pointed 12 links, okay, and they're all very high quality, 33. It's completely off the charts, okay, as far as the quality goes. So this is a very powerful site, and these, these are the types of links you can expect um, to get your uh, business um, uh, link to. All right, so this is this is going to be directly responsible for getting you ranked number one here. So it just turns out it looks like not many landscaping companies have taken SEO serious or found the right SEO um, here in San Diego. So the market's wide open for this. So um, you can expect some outstanding results with uh, with us. So um, that pretty much is 
it for the analysis. I do want to throw some case study information in here, show you a couple of our clients. So I showed you this one website, how powerful it is. Uh, I'll show you one of our San Diego Auto Connection. Here, let me type in. Um, they're ranked high for San Diego, I think it's San Diego Auto Dealers. Sorry, I can't spell. Okay, yep, so San Diego Auto Connection, uh, used auto dealer. When we first took them on, they were on page three for many keywords. For this major keyword, um, they're ranked, they're number three in the maps. Um, and number one organically. And this is a very competitive market. We're talking about used auto sales, all right? So this is a very competitive market. Um, and we got them here uh, from page three. So they're just thriving. Um, and they get over 2,500 um, searches a month. And I can show you what their traffic looks like real quick. So forget this guy. This guy's going to be going. Yeah, so over 2,500 searches a month. So these guys are really thriving. Um, let me show you. We also built out, uh, we also do lead generation. Um, so we build out custom websites and rank them in different parts of San Diego and not just San Diego, you know, like Escondido, Chula Vista, or La Jolla, and we'll pull all the leads back. So we built out this limousine party bus rental website um, in Escondido. It ranked number one in literally two weeks. Um, it's number one organically and it's just dominating the local listings here. Um, so this has been a very successful website. Um, so these guys are getting over 300 leads a month just off this website. And I wish I could pull up the data real quick. Hold on one sec. All right, so I wanted to show you some how much business uh, this site's getting. So with these lead gen sites, we actually use our uh, phone program. Um, it tracks all the phone calls records them for training purposes. Um, we use that for our company, any business owner that wants to use that service and it could actually convert any online email request um, to an instant phone call. You know, if someone goes to your website and uh, you know, wants to email you, um, see like right here you have a contact form um, and what's going to happen is when this person puts in their information hit submit or get estimate, what's going to happen is my program is going to snag whatever phone number they put here and instantly call you and then you're going to press one to connect and you're going to be instantly connected with that new prospect. Um, it increases your chance of closing clients by 2100% um, because every five minutes that goes by um, you lose the opportunity to close that client because they're just going to call another competitor and you call them back they might have already um, called someone else. So, um, But this is how much business uh, this website's getting. So in the past 90 days um, let's say about 90 days right there. They've gotten 671 phone calls. So that's over 200 leads a month. Not to mention the emails. Uh, it takes a second to pull up, but the emails, you know, are at least, um, you know, 100, 150 a month. So they're getting over 300 leads a month. So that's just all for this. And then I'm also doing the website and their SEO for their website. So as you can see, we got, a, uh, you know, a lot going on and Definitely, um, there's a lot of opportunity here for your business, and you know we really love to partner with you and help you grow your business and really corner these consumers looking for landscaping services in San Diego. So um, I really hope all this made sense. Um, reach back out to me, um, let me know your thoughts, and we'll take the next step to growing your business online. All right. Uh, again, thanks for your time, and you have a nice day.